It's Jonathan here from the Edinburgh Watch Company. A uh, very warm welcome to you. Uh, when I say warm welcome, it's minus six degrees. This is not the normal watch video we're doing because we are in the heart of Cheshire at Alton Park Racing Circuit. And you ask, why are you at Alton Park Racing Circuit? Because today I've got a very special guest with me, Darren, the chief of Destination Nürburgring. Darren, good morning. Morning. And welcome. On today's video, we're not going to be talking watches as normal. This video is about an introduction to a great company that I'm delighted to have been invited to be a sponsor for, for the 2023 season. I know many of you watching the video today, you love your cars, and I know that because I meet you and we talk about cars, and I'm sure many of you have been on track, and for those who haven't been on track, it might be on your bucket list and something you'd love to do. So I thought over the next few minutes, we would talk a little bit about Destination Nürburgring, what it's all about, and why you might enjoy it. And there's no better person to tell you about that than Darren himself. So Darren, here's the microphone. Thank you. Come and tell us all about Destination Nürburgring. So um, I was uh, just involved in a business that was taking people over to the Nürburgring. We were doing a lot of tourist and farten at the time. Got to know more and more people in the area, got to know more and more people in the kind of Nürburgring management. And a lot of people then started telling me that they were getting a bit fed up with the chaotic nature of Tourist and Farton, it'd be fair to say, um, and that they would really like to have an organised event, an organised track day. So kind of in the response to that, I had a few conversations and managed to get into a position in 2010 where we set uh, a track day company up, ran our first track day and never really looked back since. It's gone from strength to strength. The events are adopted by enthusiasts and cherished and you can really get a sense of that in the events when you attend them. The atmosphere is always fantastic. The driving standards on track and the etiquette is always great. We've got a great safety record. We've got a great record for having the most track time, the fewest red flags, etc. Um, and that's kind of what DN events are all about. If you want to graduate up to a controlled experience on the Nordschleife, then really you need to be looking at track days. And if you're looking for quality track time, then DN events is certainly one of the best track day companies up there. Thank you. I'm sure most of you watching this video today will have heard of the Tourist Farten. I think Sir Jackie Stewart called it the Green Hell. So a very, very famous track based in the Eiffel Mountains, roughly about 13 miles long with probably over 100 corners. I can't remember the names of any of them, but it is an absolute mecca for anybody that loves cars and driving. The Tourist Farten is something some of you may have done already. It's a fantastic event. You know, you can go there, you know, pay 30 euros per lap um, and you take your chances as it were. Destination Nürburgring, as Darren said earlier, is a really, really safe event and you very much pay for what you're getting for because when you come to one of these events, you are on track where Darren has literally bought the circuit for that day or for two days and you're going to be amongst a community of petrol heads who just love to be there. The driving standards are high. In fairness, in fairness I think it's fair to say that uh, this probably is for the more experienced driver, but we don't sort of say no, there are instructors there. And if you're thinking about coming to the Nürburgring, then maybe you want to go and do some track days back home. But it is just quite something else. So we're sitting here mid-December. As I say, it's minus six. And timing's really good because you've actually just introduced the new dates for 2023, haven't you? So roughly what are those dates? Uh, Friday the 5th of May is our super street spring track day opening uh, for the 2023 season uh, super street is a format aimed at street legal vehicles um, they need to be capable of being kind of used on the street in germany um, so that kind of takes a little bit of the edge off some of the top end in terms of speed in terms of race cars joining the event so it makes it a little bit more accessible the next event is in the summer it's our ringmeisters prime event it's a pro track format which means that street legal vehicles and if you own a race car or a track car that isn't capable of being driven on the road you can use that as well it's a two-day event it's super low numbers hospitality included one of my favorites of the year and i know you really enjoy them as well and then third and final event for dn events in 2023 is our autumn super street uh, event on the 31st of august and the 1st of september um yeah again end of the year it's uh, always a great way to close out the season the weather's invariably reasonable if not brilliant at that time of year 
Um, yeah, and I'm super stoked and really happy to be back at the Nordschleife again for 2023. Thanks, Darren. And I think the lovely thing about that too is it's, it's very, very low numbers as well. And you may have a car you're thinking about bringing yourself, but if not, there's plenty of track day companies out there that do car rental as well. You don't need a fast car, particularly if you haven't had a lot of experience at the ring. You can you know, hire a Suzuki Swift and you'll have more fun than probably driving a, a fast 911, something like that. So, um, May is when it all starts. Um, you can find out more about this by visiting uh, Darren's website, which is uh, dnevents.com. There's lots and lots of information on there. The tickets are now available to buy. Um, those of you who may be thinking about coming think, well, I could just go and do the tourist fart, then it's 30 euros a lap. And yes, that in the face of it's quite inexpensive, but add the laps up, add the fact you're going to be out there with hundreds of cars or motorbikes and things like that versus an organized track day with very limited numbers with instructions, I guarantee you it's definitely worth the money. So that's it. So I'm going to be out at all the events. Hopefully some of you can make it. If so, please let me know. But um, I think that's enough talking about the Nürburgring. And we thought we would uh, go out and do some laps in the car so you can come and join us on board. And the car we're in today is a Hyundai i30N. It's the limited edition. So a fantastic um, literally out the box uh, hot hatchback with roughly 280 horsepower um, we were at Donington yesterday and we've been doing a few laps this morning in it so just thought it'd be a, a great car to have the ring so there we are should we go and do some driving let's go us now on track, the sun is shining, it's a very very slippy track, we've been doing a couple of warm up laps just to try and get some heat into the tyres, and Darren is beside me absolutely speechless. <laughs> so I'm under a little bit of pressure here because uh, despite running the Nürburgring, Darren's also a, a certified instructor, and uh, you were saying to me earlier Darren that you've uh, also done some instruction with another disabled athlete who's racing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Natalie McGloin, who's the current FIA um, Accessibility Commissioner for um, helping uh, less able people get into most sports. What's she racing just now? She races with uh, a Porsche Cayman. Uh, last time I checked, she was doing Porsche Club stuff. Um, she might be doing like enduro stuff as well. I haven't spoken to her in a while. I have seen her recently on her spinal track day. She does like a um, charity, she's got a charity called Spinal Track where she runs track experiences and rally experiences as well for, for less able bodied people. So, yeah, I help out and instruct on those days as well. So this car, as I said earlier, it's the uh, Hyundai i30. It's an absolutely standard car. It's on uh, Pirelli P zeros. The track is now actually zero degrees now, so it's got a little bit more grip on it, but still can't quite drive it like you would if it was dry. But uh, it's still quite an amazing thing. So, Darren, how does the uh, Alton Park compare to the Nürburgring? There's some similarities to you. It's my favourite circuit in the UK. Let's put it that way. Um, plenty of ventilations, plenty of like um, changes in grip levels, surface changes. It's just got it all really. Fantastic. And every time I've come here and raced, I've always had great results. Love it. Love instructing here, love driving here. What a great place to be. More importantly, how do you find it? Oh, it's lovely. So, I know you're being very polite because we're on camera, but uh, any top tips? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you haven't got enough time for that. Uh, yeah, I think maybe just like, um, maybe a little bit slower into some of the corners to get a better drive out of some of them. Uh, just be like, in these conditions as well, just being like, super careful with the throttle but no what i'm seeing jonathan you're driving really well i've got no nothing really to add and, uh, uh, 
um, I'm actually using um, hand controls, which are very simple uh, push pull hand control, pull to accelerate, push to brake. And they work remarkably well, really. And I'm just trying to go around without getting brake fade. And I have not say I'm not a particularly smooth driver, but. Uh, yeah, but this car really kind of responds well to being grabbed by the scruff of the neck it does. and thrown around. So yeah. I can tell that already from the passenger seat. Absolutely and I know you've got a, plan, a few plans to modify it as well, don't you? I do, yeah. We've got a couple of things to it, but just upgrading the brakes slightly. And, um, it's just lovely. It's just great to be out here in the winter time. But uh, something just to keep us going while we're not out of the road, I agree. Very true, very true. It's really good. So I think we'll come up to our last corner and we'll call that a wrap. We kept it on the track. I hope they just whetted the appetite for those watching this to jump on Darren's website, dnevents.com, and come and join us at the Nurburgring next year. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Take care.